Hi, my name is Allison Robinson, and I am the speech pathologist on staff at Oklahoma Able Tech. Thanks for joining us for a brief overview of the quality indicators for assistive technology, also known as QIAT, pronounced QUIET for short. Today, I am speaking to you as a member of the quality indicators for assistive technology list and as someone specializing in assistive technology. On a daily basis, I consult and help people all over Oklahoma find solutions to assistive technology, also known as AT, their needs. The information in this video will help you better understand what the quality indicators for assistive technology are and how you can use quiet resources to help you serve students K through 12 with disabilities and their assistive technology needs. Let's start with the obvious. Information about the QUIET is found at the following web address, qiat.org. There is a lot of information on this site, and I don't want us to get lost. Let's start with learning a little bit about the QUIET's mission and purpose. To do this, we will head over to the About Us tab. It's important to know the mission of the QUIET as it helps us understand why it exists and how it can help us. Without reading it word for word, you can do that on your own. I will highlight that the QUIET's goal is to help people like us provide quality assistive technology services to students with disabilities to help those students achieve in the classroom. The QUIET leadership team started in 1998 and is made up of AT service providers from many different training backgrounds, as well as family members of people with disabilities. There is also a QUIET community made up of individuals all over the world. Together, through a lengthy process, the quality indicators for assistive technology services, as well as supporting documents, have been developed and made available to us. Since we keep talking so much about them, let's jump now to the second tab, Indicators, so that you can actually see what they are. The quality indicators were developed by focus groups and verified through research. They address development and delivery of AT services and include the following eight topics. One, consideration of AT needs. Two, assessment of AT needs. Three, AT in the IEP. Four, AT implementation. Five, evaluation of effectiveness of AT. Six, AT in transition. 7. Administrative Support for AT and 8. AT Professional Development. This next part is really important, so I'm going to read it right from the website. First, it is essential that all AT services developed and delivered by states or districts are legally correct according to the mandates and expectations of federal and state laws and are aligned to district policies. Second, AT efforts at all stages involve ongoing collaborative work by teams, which include families and caregivers, school personnel, and other needed individuals and service agencies. Third, Team members involved in AT processes are responsible for following the code of ethics for their specific profession. Below is where you click to view each area of the quality indicators. We won't do that now, but feel free to after the video. Now we are going to talk about what I would consider as one of the best supports the QUIET has to offer. It's the QUIET list. I assure you, you will want to sign up for this list. However, I will warn you ahead of time that you must manage your subscription settings so that you are not overwhelmed by the number of emails you get in a given day. 
the quiet never sleeps. So you will be getting emails at night and on the weekends. However, you can choose to have the emails combined into digests before they are delivered to your inbox. So what will be in the emails? Questions, comments, and resources, all related to assistive technology in general, as well as helping specific people or students. Without giving out confidential information, you can post a question to the list and any one of the 3,000 plus members can answer you. Answers are usually pretty immediate and always helpful. Whatever you do though, do not reply thank you to the list once you've received assistance. This too goes out to 3,000 plus people and not everyone appreciates it. Let me give you some examples of the types of questions you might ask on the quiet list. We are looking for a keyboarding program to use in an after school program. Also, our private school for children with learning disabilities is getting accreditation to go through high school. Is there a keyboarding curriculum that would be recommended for that level? Most of the students are one to three years behind in their reading level. Here's another example. Does anyone know of AAC apps for a Surface RT? Will it run AVAS, which is an Android app, or other Android apps? Not every email will be of interest to you, or maybe even make sense. You may want to monitor by subject title to determine if you need to read further. Just know that even if you don't need the information today, all of the conversations from the quiet list are archived online for you to access at a later date. I got to the archives by scrolling down on any page of the quiet website. It's important to note that you may want to search the archives prior to posting a question. This may save you and the other community members time posting and responding to questions that were already answered. If you ever want to leave the quiet list, you can visit the website under the quiet list tab or there is an option at the bottom of every email you receive from the list. You must click the join list option, then follow prompts to leave the group. The last thing I'll mention is that there is a resource for those interested in the quality indicators for assistive technology at the post-secondary level. This website is quiet-ps.org. So to recap, we've covered what is the quiet, what are the quality indicators for assistive technology services, and how were they developed, and what is the quiet list, and why should I join? We hope that you have found the information in this video helpful and that you are more knowledgeable about the quiet. Please know that this was meant to be a brief overview and that you can visit the quiet website for additional information.